Let's see. So my opponent disconnected there. Ben, so Galio and Kyogre with Entei. Ooh, Entei actually looks kind of crazy here. Entei looks kind of crazy here. I get a lot of value out of Palkia, truth be told. Do I get much value out of Torkoal here? I'm mostly just annoyed that Grim snarls on the other side of the field. That could be kind of bad for me. Um, I think that if I can land a burn versus them, I'm not in a bad spot. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I get a decent amount of value out of my mons doing it this way. Alright. Let's see. So I want to bank at my opponent making a really, really smart play turn one if they lead off with Entei plus Sogalio and just do something really dumb in response. And Tornadus. That's fine. It's just Tailwind Brutal Swing. So obviously they can one-shot me. We know that much. So here's what I do. I think that they're just going to Brutal Swing and try to one-shot my my Mimikyu. Red Solgaleo, my eyes. Yeah, I don't like the Red Solgaleo that much. I like the regular. Obviously, this won't work if they decide to ignore the Mimikyu, which I would disagree with heavily. I think they have to go for the, uh, the Sunsteel Strike. They're just going to Dynamax. That's scary, uh, but I guess it makes sense that they can Dynamax now, because if they Brutal Swing, that would break my my thing. But it'll also activate my weakness policy, so if I get the Trick Room off here... Basically, as long as they target the Palkia here, I'm fine. Which they should, otherwise Trick Room goes up and then they have a rough time. Thank you for the policy. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the butt. Okay, awesome. I got the play right. Call me William Shakespeare because I always get the play right. Anyways. <laughs> that was really stupid. Alright. Alright. I'm going to leave the Solgaleo alone since I'm Trick Rooming second. I'm actually in a pretty good spot. Uh, what I can do now is... Solgaleo is going to move before the Tornado so I can now get in my Mimikyu. And I am going to go for my Max Steel Spike into their Torn. That was kind of funny. Thank you, Hierarch. Did you patch Palkia? No! I should have, but I don't have the money. Or the uh, the points, or whatever. Anyways, this is like a guaranteed Will-O-Wisp if I connect on the Solgaleo. Mm, diet Kunk. He shouldn't have a way of preventing me from doing this either. All right. Yeah, I'll probably hit up the Discord later if I need a patch, which I do. So, I'll hit it up later. Max Quack. I'm going to eat that up. Yep, like Reese's Puffs. As always, like Reese's Puffs. The only way we eat things up.
Pikmin, thanks for the follow. There's the Torn. I mean, Torn's probably Focus Sash, but Torn also can't prevent this. Willow Wisp. Max Steel Spike. There we go. I mean, if it has Taunt, yeah, I can Taunt twice, but then I get like a free Max Steel Spike off, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's not ideal for the Solgaleo under any circumstances. They do go for the Protect, but if Protect went off from Torn first, that means they didn't Max Guard. And I connect, so now we're just eating every hit up. God, that does so much even behind Protect. So galio has got some nasty damage output. Have you got an idea for the next non-meta team? Go watch the Doug Trio video. <laughs> that team has something going on there. I don't think it's great, but I think it's got something. There's something under the hood that just works. I'm going to say the last Mon's definitely the Kyogre. So I can beat the Kyogre if I get Torkoal on the field second, you know. So Galio is also like a non-issue now. Okay. Um, I think I can just play rough here. On the Tornadus and that should KO and I can just go for the Quake on the Solgaleo. As they Tailwind. I disagree with this play. Quake. And we almost get the one shot. That might be a crit. No, it's just that strong. Douche McBaggins got an ad break. Okay, how long was the ad break? I want to make sure they're not absurd anymore. Because the last stream, I had to adjust them. Because apparently they were, like, really, really long. Now they should only be happening, like, twice an hour. Anyways, that should be a win for me. It was short. Awesome. Good. You're only going to get two of those an hour. So Marco still gets to make money off of streaming, and you guys don't have to deal with the pain. You guys want to see an epic Solgaleo play? Here's what we do. They never broke my disguise. So I just always do this. Actually, let's do this because it's just cooler. This is just more of a gamer play. I bet you I tank this hit. Oh, I don't even have to. Awesome. That was a really, really solid game. Eddie, rank 1527. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is a pretty cool team. So it's like hyper offense. It, it's just it's just hyper offense. <laughs> I said like as though there was anything else going on there. No, this is just hyper offense. Uh, Mimikyu looks great. Mimikyu, you just look beautiful, darling. Okay. Yeah, Mimikyu looks phenomenal. On lead. Um, I have to be careful with my Incineroar lead because it could mess me up if uh, that's Defiant Tornadus, which let's be honest, it probably is. I think the way I play this game is pretty straightforward, and if my opponent leads off Tornadus, I just hope I don't lose. Listen, I'm a, I'm a physicist. I can do, like, integration, derivation. I can use, you know, friggin' Stokes Theorem and... What is it? And Taylor Series. I can't do basic arithmetic. That's the rule. I can do really hard math, but not the easy stuff. That's the trade-off. It's, it's the monkey's paw of learning physics. I want to grow up and be a physicist. Oh, okay. I grant your wish, but from now on, you'll think that 2 plus 2 equals 4. See, that's the joke there. I thought that it wasn't for a moment.
Okay, Mimic you Incineroar. What's great is um, even if I don't get Trick Room off, I get a Snarl. <laughs> versus these two as well, which is just like getting a Snarl versus a Calyrex is like Christmas. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't have any switch-ins to this, so I just do it. I just Trick Room and I Snarl. We could also be facing the only White Herb Calyrex on Earth, but, you know. Astral Barrage, that's fine. Tapu Lele's Focus Blast was a critical hit. Yep, that could be a thing. Mimikyu might eat this hit. It has good special defense. It's possible. Improbable, but it's possible. Shadow Ball. Mimikyu's not eating this hit. Oh, Gigawatts, you were the, the disconnect game? I mean, I'm sorry about that. I don't think that was me because I stayed on the ladder and I think I ended up getting the win from that. But yeah, I, I don't know what went on there. Okay, uh, I have an idea. Is it a good idea? You be the judge. Just kidding, don't. Don't judge me here. Uh, if this doesn't work out, don't judge me. So I should be able to protect here and go for another Snarl, and then go for a Trick Room. Unless, of course, they... Call this and go into their Groudon, and then I lose. If the Lele specs, this actually might be bad for me. I mean, yeah, but it can also just be modest. Like, if it's modest Lele, I could see that doing that much damage. If the Lele stays in, I will be happy. Awesome. I should always get this Trick Room off then, barring any kind of crit. Expanding Horse, that is a... That, that is a little bit of an issue. Shadow Ball, awesome. Avoided all damage that turn. Okay. So now I should always get this Trick Room off. Both of these things are at minus two. And I can make the most use out of this trick room by parting shotting the Lele, because that's the only thing on the field that probably can't protect. Whoever said that was that was Specs Lele, you're probably right. Awesome. No, this is great. There's no way an expanding horse KOs me. No. No way. Th he did not just Trick Room. Guys, I think this is Trick Room Calyrex. This man did not just Trick Room on me. You did not just do that to me. No. No. I refuse to believe this. You're just running some really weird move, right? Ah! <laughs> You know how the Grinch's heart grew like six times that day that like he learned the true meaning of Christmas? Mine just shrunk. Mine mine just just shrunk. It's not coming back. It's gone. I've lost all goodwill. Anyways, let's just try to trick her. <laughs> I have forgotten the meaning of Christmas. Christmas is fake. <laughs> I really hope he just didn't trick room again.
Luckily, I got a minus one off of that, so... You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a max quake under my guy. Yes! That did, that was a, that was a crit on the Palkia. That, that could lose me the game. That was actually really bad for me. Oh. Can you just max quake my Solgaleo, please? Can that, can that be Solgaleo? Okay, that might have lost me the game. I'm pretty sure I lived, you know, both of those. So yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> Okay, um, end of the world? Probably not, because that's a life orb Groudon, so I'm going to get a steel spike off. No, I probably win, actually. No, truth be told, I think this is a win. Because I can get rid of both of their restricteds this turn, and there's not much they can do about it. Unless they're Will-O-Wisp Calyrex, in which case... Okay! Um, yeah, I mean, I just snarl here, like, every single time. Scrawdon's at minus two. Yeah, and here's where I snarled. Because Lele can come in, but it's never KOing me. I, I still do the same thing. I remain cautious. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I go for the KO this turn. I think I have to Quake the Groudon if I want to win. Because if the Calyrex gets in under Trick Room, like, I'm in trouble. Uh, I Snarl again. And this time I Quake. And I need to be able to Trick Room if I want to win. The Shadow Ball... Not interesting that he didn't Moonblast. I guess he just doesn't want to lock into that for, like, a, a really unfortunate endgame. Live? He doesn't live. Okay. I can possibly Trick Room to win. Possibly. It's gonna be a very rough endgame for Marcos. Don't kill. Okay. That was awesome. Because it's going to end up KOing itself this turn, so I should be able to get off a Trick Room. Plus, it can miss. So if Groudon attacks, it, it dies. That's just, that's just how it works. If Groudon attacks, it dies, so I always get off my Trick Room. But I'm still taking a lot from Specs Lele. <laughs> and the Groudon, because it's Life Orb, so... Don't, don't, don't be annoying. That, that isn't terribly annoying damage. Alright, it lands. I should live this. Ow! Okay, I lose. Okay, that Trick Room Calyrex got me real good. Also, the crit on the Palkia definitely mattered, but... Yeah. Here's the Venusaur. I mean, who knows? Maybe Venusaur is just going to miss its move. Lock itself into Sleep Powder and never land. Thumbnail. Vector, how you doing? This is going to go down in history as the most cursed ladder tour ever. <laughs> Trick Room Calyrex almost annihilated me like turn one. And then I got crit. <laughs> Alright, good game. Is it? It's Jesus! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, So, we're facing... Uh, was it Zacian and Eveltal? Uh, it's just Zacian Eveltal hyper offense. So, I mean, this should be free trick room. 
I should be able to always get off Trick Room here. The power of God and anime on his side, yes. Full respect to my opponent as a uh, Mexican person myself, I will say that I'm sure, I'm certain if this person lives in the U.S., he has had to deal with having people call him Jesus all the time when his name's probably pronounced Jesus. So that's got to be annoying. <laughs> Like, just imagine, put yourself in, like, the perspective of a Hispanic person in the U.S., right? And they're, like, showing up to their first day of class every single year. And it's like, is Jesus here? And you have to be like, actually, it's pronounced Jesus. Dude, if I face Trick Room Wizgot, I may be a little bit annoyed. <laughs> if I win, I'm going to be smited. True facts, true facts. Yeah, I mean, if your friend's cool with it, then you can pronounce it if you, you know, you can pronounce it however you want if your friend's cool with it. Okay. Thank you, Garlic Breath, for the follow. So yeah, this should be pretty free trick room. Just gonna go ahead and fake out this thing. Imagine if Jesus returned and that was his fit, it'd be legendary. True. Look at that. The drip. He's got like the Kanye shades on too. Alright, that's gonna be Maxi Beltel. Imagine we get maxed on with Whimsicott. That'd be insane. Guys? <laughs> Guys? Uh... I can- I can live this hit. I can live this hit. I don't care what hit he's going for, I can live this hit. On the bright side, they wasted their Dynamax on a Whimsicott. I can- don't flinch. Mimic you? I swear. Okay. <sighs> I was terrified. <laughs> I felt my- I saw my life flash before my eyes right then and there. All right, um, truth be told, there's no reason to Flare Blitz this Whimsicott. It's basically doing nothing. I'm just going to snarl. <laughs> I was being cleansed of my sins by a Whimsicott. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's fine. I better connect this Will-O-Wisp, just so I don't get foul played later. Makes this a lot easier on me. I missed the Will-O-Wisp. That's fine. <laughs> the Bible speaks of divine judgment I never imagined to be a Whimsicott. True! True, let me snarl again. Oh, uh, I was really hoping I'd lose my, my Mimikyu that turn, to be honest. I really want to get the Solgaleo in for free. It's just kind of tough right now. Dynamax my Incin and flare it to <laughs> prove a point. <laughs> just imagine your opponent Dynamax as their Whimsicott and turn one, you Dynamax your Incin just a play that has never happened before. That is a brand new turn in Pokemon. It has never been done before. <laughs> It's all fun and games until the Whimsicott uses Judgment. Alright, there we go. We connect. So, I'm probably going to lose my Mimikyu this turn, but that's fine. Uh, they have very few answers for Solgaleo now that this thing's at minus two and burned.
No, no, I understand why they did that. They really were trying to stop me from getting off my trick room. That makes sense. The plane made sense. I don't think it was the best answer to trick room, but if that was their only way of preventing it from going up that turn, it did make sense. And there's the Whimsicott. All right, let's do it. Max Steel Spike U. I don't believe they have any switch ins to this. Yeah, they have they have a couple of like Pokemon that could do it, you know, uh, but nothing incredible. So I'm also going to Parting Shot on the Veltal in case they switch to get in my, my Palkia. Uh, not really concerned about Whimsy right now. Yeah. Yeah, they, they Dynamax to prevent the fake out. I could see their like their thought process there, you know. <laughs> Gigantamax Whimsicott G Max move the final days of joy. <laughs> That just sounds awful. <laughs> the final days of joy. Uh, the two mons on the bench right now are my uh, sun mode. So Venusaur and um, and Torkoal. And my current record, I believe I'm 3-2, and two, but one of those games I was just awarded points for a disconnect. Cherish Yukon, how you doing? All right, nice. That does KO, which is great for me. Critical hit. I don't know if that mattered from that range. <laughs> G-Max God's Wrath. All right, I'm hoping there's one more turn to Trick Room. I actually wasn't counting. Luckily, I snarled twice, so that's just going to bounce off. There's the Zacian. Okay. I'm I'm feeling pretty good. If we get rid of the Zacian, it literally just becomes a matter of not losing with Incineroar. Okay, there's one turn left to Trick Room, so... I'm going to go for a Quake here, actually. I'm going to double out into my Incin. Weakness policy whims cut with self proc. That'd be evil. Oh my god, that'd be evil. And this should guarantee we get a trick room off. Yep, there's the protect. Hey, thanks for the sub at Northwest. Actually, does no, that doesn't guarantee we get a trick room off like ever. We're on the second turn of Dynamax. It guarantees we take away this thing. Moonblast, that's fine. It's just going to bounce off of me. Basically, they have no Quake switch-ins, and that's that's what matters here. So I always fake out and Quake the Zacian. Um, because that should one-shot from this range, yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> I, th I think so. Uh, okay, okay, that's not great. Not awful, though, not awful. Um, they haven't, they haven't taunted yet, and that's, that's what's confusing me. Okay, there it is. There it is. Um, but still not the end of the world. Because considering what they have in the back, I think I always just double target the Zacian still. Yeah, no, nothing they have in the back takes the double up. And they have to choose what they KO here. Close combat? That's fine.
Because I was say they they only KO us if they have close combat, and now that's gonna be a range of plus one steel uh, sun steel strike. Moonblast is gonna bounce off of us, hopefully. Yeah, that that did like negative damage. I could have earthquaked, but that's you know, I, I didn't trust it. All right, nice. We get the KO, and they have nothing in the back that beats just earthquake spam. Venusaur, yeah. Venusaur doesn't beat us since there's no sun. Unless there's Sunny Day Whimsicott, in which case we are in a little bit of trouble, but not, not so much that it's like unwinnable. So I'm just going to double this Venusaur here, and that should win us the game. Psychic Fangs. Spatial Rend, in case it's Sash. Moonblast. It could be Sleep Powder. Uh, they just crit me. Um... <laughs> Okay, so that's unfortunate. Uh, don't be Sleep Powder. It's Energy Ball. Okay, we win. Did that crit? I say that did a lot. Okay, we win. That was scary. That was scary. So Galeo shook off the taunt. A little late for that. About a turn too late, so Galeo. All right, good game, Jesus. For a game where they had to Dynamax the Whimsicott, that was very close. Nice. Awesome. Dude, the Palkia is having a rough day. Our Palkia is having a rough day. Between that, that, um, that double trick room and the crit... <laughs> And this crit, it, it, he's having a rough one. He's having a rough day.